We wanted the Rolls-Royce environmental standard that's known as BRIAM. I remember at the very start saying that the building had to be BRIAM excellent, which really is the top of the range. And I was absolutely delighted that we went the extra mile and achieved a standard that didn't even exist at the time of the procurement. The new standard called BRIAM Outstanding, which is brilliant, and I think Grimshaw can be really proud of that. We wanted to have a solution for dealing with all the waste that we collect from the households in Suffolk. The landfill was costing the county council a huge amount of money, and we had to bring that to an end. Rather than mindlessly just putting it into landfill in the ground, energy from waste burns the waste, but then uses the heat from the combustion process to superheat water into steam to drive a turbine, and that then exports energy to the grid. It's like a, a little power station. Instead of using coal or natural gas, it, it uses waste that cannot be recycled. There is quite often a lot of bad publicity about energy from waste. Definitely a sense of that. <laughs> Don't want this in my backyard. Whenever anyone sees a large chimney, they're concerned about well, what's being produced from that. I live in Somersham, which is two and a half miles away from the Suez Works. I've lived here such a long time. I'm part of the furniture of the village. When we first heard they were building the incinerator, we were absolutely disgusted. I didn't want it there. Dirty, smelly thing. As far as I was concerned, that was smoke and filth. If we were going to build an industrial building in Suffolk, it had to be special. We wanted something that the public could accept, and it wasn't going to be a concrete box. The Suez don't normally approach architects for all of their projects, but they appreciated that they would need some architectural input in Suffolk. I think that they felt that that was very much um, about, you know, sort of making the facade look a bit prettier. Um, whereas the way that we approach architecture is really to fundamentally understand the overall process. In the beginning, it was maybe a little bit scary because I didn't know anything. So at the first meeting, they were asking what kind of flores are going to the plant, and then we look, looking at each other. I mean, I remember distinctly one of the clients saying to me, why, why do you need to know all of this information? For us, it's really important because without understanding the various components of the building, it's very difficult to organize it. They came with a totally fresh perspective. A lot of out-of-the-box ideas in terms of architecture, and that was very good. You know, recognising that Suffolk is one of the finest landscapes in England, you couldn't just insert any large-scale building into this into the site. By breaking the different components down, it reduces the visual mass of, of the building. There's kind of three primary materials used on the building. Um, one is a very dark cladding, and actually it forms like a robust base that almost sits this building into the landscape. And then there's a very simple glass finger of accommodation that comes out the front. And that effectively acts as a front door to the building. And then you have the boiler hall, the jewel in the crown, if you like, with the jewel layer polycarbonate and louvered facade. Typically, these buildings are often black box, and therefore the local community are afraid of them or concerned about the activities that are happening within because they can't see. So we were really keen to make sure that there was an element of transparency and translucency and kind of break down some of the barriers. So we had this really large scale boiler hall that was fully clad in translucent material. It created a very pleasant, daylit, natural environment for the workers. 
also disguise the scale of the overall building and therefore help to diffuse the visual mass when it's seen against the sky. The local community could see this very large building coming out of the ground. We often held meetings and workshops with those, you know, those people that expressed concern to try and um, reassure them. I mean, I was like everybody else. Do we need this plot on the landscape? But um, I'm quite surprised how good the building is. I really am. The design, it's fabulous. Them loops just makes the building. The louvre is like an extruded aluminium oval shape, which is typically used for solar shading on the outside of buildings. So just by twisting them slightly over the length of the boiler hall, they were able to reflect light in slightly different ways. The building then appears to blur slightly, capturing some of the kind of movement that happens in the big Suffolk sky. If you have a preconception about what a building treating waste would look like, you couldn't be further away from that than Suffolk's energy from waste plant. I'm very proud. Yeah, I've done a few of this project, but uh, this, this is my, my favourite. Not only is dealing with waste and producing electricity for 30,000 homes, but it's beautiful. Yes, we did protest a lot. But now, I think we've all accepted that it's a more pleasant neighbour than some of the other things we've got in the area. For a place that deals with all rubbish, you couldn't wish for a better looking building.